keeps on firing with the hamstrings, then these are firing overtime. So what I'm going to do to calm down the pain receptors in the erector spinae is spray on the spray on the crowd. You've got to give this some time to work. If you're going to block the gatekeeper of pain, the cryoderm is going to allow this back to relax. But these muscles are working overtime, which I'm going to demonstrate here. Watch. When she lifts her leg up, go ahead, these are working overtime. So her extension is all coming from her back. Extension should come from the hips and the glutes. It's all coming from her back. If these are working overtime, it doesn't matter what I do to that. First, I'm going to calm them down the pain receptors. Second, I'm going to stretch the iliopsoas. Third, I'm going to activate the glutes. If I activate the glutes and turn these on, they'll fire, those won't fire. So instead of the erector spinae firing overtime, the glutes and the hamstrings will be activated. In the meantime, I'm calming down the hypertonicity of the back with the cryoderm while I'm doing my job here. And now, once I activate the gluteus maximus, watch this new technique. When she lifts her leg up, these are firing, so, so these are firing less. So I turn down the, the firing pattern, calm down the pain receptors, turn down the firing pattern, and now I can actually work these tissues, but I gotta turn this side on first.